In this lesson, you will use the area rule, the sine rule, and the cosine rule. Two-dimensional trigonometry revision. By using trigonometry, we can find unknown angles and lengths in triangles. In previous grades, you would have learned about using the sine, cosine, and area rules to solve 2D trig problems. These rules make it possible to solve triangles that are not right-angled. Example 1. Solving 2D trigonometric problems. Lebo is trying to make a call on her cell phone. From a point P on top of a building, she notices a cell phone tower in the distance. A land surveyor measured the angle of elevation to the top of the cell phone tower as 24 degrees, and the angle of depression to the foot of the tower is 19 degrees. If the height of the tower is 28 meters, how far is the building that Lebo is standing on from the tower, if they lie in the same horizontal plane? Solution Represent all the given information in a simplified diagram using triangles and label each vertex. The distance from the building to the tower is the length BT in the simplified diagram. The building Lebo is standing on is perpendicular to the ground, hence angle B is 90 degrees. We need to find a side that links triangle PBT to triangles with known lengths, so we need to find PT first. We are given that angle P1, the angle of elevation, is 24 degrees. Angle P2, the angle of depression, is 19 degrees. The tower and building are the same perpendicular distance apart at any point, hence they are parallel to each other. TC is parallel to PB, and DP is parallel to BT. Therefore, angle CDP is also 90 degrees by corresponding angles. In triangle CDP, we can calculate using the sum of angles in a triangle that angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus the sum of 24 degrees and 90 degrees to get 66 degrees. Now focus on the bigger triangle, CPT, since we have two angles, C and P, and a known side, CT. We can use the sine rule to calculate the length of PT. PT divided by sine of angle C is equal to CT divided by sine of angles P1 plus P2. Multiply both sides by sine of angle C to get PT by itself. Substitute values for CT, angle C, and the sum of angle P, 1 and 2, and using your calculator, you get PT is equal to 37,5 meters. But do not round off just yet. Use the memory of your calculator to store this value for later use. Now work in triangle PBT to find TB. Since we're working with a right angle triangle, we can solve the triangle by using the definitions of the trigonometric ratios. Using the definition of cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, we get cos 19 degrees is equal to BT divided by PT. Get BT by itself by multiplying both sides of the equation by PT, and you get BT is equal to cos of 19 degrees multiplied by PT. Use your calculator to get BT is equal to 35,5 meters. The cell tower is 35,5 meters from the foot of the building.